Good morning! It is still morning. It is Friday. Yay, Friday. Oh, wait, it doesn't matter because every day is Friday. But, uh, today, I am going to try to catch the 1 p.m. bus to Allred, which is what I'll be saying for the next couple of days. And to do that, I need to exchange some money because I'm low on funds um, in the local currency. Uh, which is all they take it. So I'm walking over there. Look what I found. What does that say? Casa Cubana in Copia, Macedonia. I'm at the bus station now. Uh, I was gonna take the 1 p.m. bus. Uh, sorry, I'm like hiding my camera because there's people around and I'm self conscious. I was gonna take the 1 p.m. bus, but that got cancelled. So I'm taking the 2 p.m. bus, which I just got the ticket for. But it is 12. Uh, almost 12 40 and I haven't had lunch so that's what I'm doing now some kind of chicken after a three and a half hour bus ride I arrived at my hostel in Ored Ored they have a weird way of pronouncing that and I'm butchering it Macedonia the name of the hostel is Sunny Lake Hostel which today is ironic because it ain't sunny it has been raining cats and dogs since I got on my bus back in Scobia. This is the room, it's a four bunk room this time. I haven't seen much of the town, but I did see the outskirts, not the old center. And so far I'm not impressed. So it hasn't stopped raining since I came in, but um, I've just been in the hotel playing cards with other people. But now I'm hungry and it's time to eat and I have to face the rain in my crazy ass raincoat, but at least it's keeping me dry. So just got dinner and got a drink and some uh, snacks to bring back with me to the hostel. And I don't know if you can see it, but really narrow cowl street that still has cars. Uh, so I'm going to end it here today. Some days are just not as exciting as other days. Good morning. It is Saturday, May 21st, and I'm in Ovid in Macedonia still. Uh, yesterday, it pretty much rained all day, and right now it's spinning very lightly. But I want you to take this in. Just take this in. It has stopped spitting altogether for a while. Uh, I'm gonna make my way up to that fortress. Hopefully I can find my way there. It's a small place. Uh, it's a very old town with windy cobblestone roads. It's beautiful. Easy to get lost. Easy to find your way out because it's so small. But it's, it's so far it's just been stunning. It's been everything that Scopia wasn't. God, I just can't with these views. So last night I lost uh, the back of one of my earrings. I was wearing those little uh, blue flower studs and without those you can't wear them. So I didn't have any earrings. And I just picked these up for a dollar eighty-three. And now I have earrings again. Yay! They are very cute. I will say this though, for a gray day, at least the clouds are pretty dramatic, which makes for much more interesting pictures than either obviously entirely gray or even entirely blue sky without any clouds. It's kind of bright actually, even though it's overcast. But look at that. Look, I mean, the sky is just, it's just so full of, I don't know, pizzazz, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is actually my preferred method to, or my preferred um, atmospheric uh, stage, whatever, to take pictures. I want, I want clouds, clouds at interest. Blue skies without clouds is boring, gray skies without clouds is boring, but that is not boring. There is nothing boring about that.
the church was supposed to be the second stop um, on my little, you know, walking tour of the town. But there's a fork at the bottom of the hill. So all the way down there where I started. And instead of going on the right side of the fork to the fortress, I went on the left side of the fort that took me to the church. So now I'm walking all the way back. I mean, it's not very far to walk all the way back up to the hill uh, to the fortress and then back down and halfway up to go all the way down down to the uh, lakeside for the other sides. It's a really small place and I'm here until tomorrow night when I catch my bus to wherever I'm going next. I'm not entirely sure whether I'm going to uh, Budva in Montenegro or whether I'm going to Kotor in Montenegro first. I'm in love with this place. I made it to the top of the fortress now and it's really windy up here uh, and it's starting to spit again, but the views are even better. I just, I can't with these views, I just can't. Just look at this. point in the fortress uh, and the views from up here are better still and the wind is crazy I hope you can hear me I had this little wind moth on the camera but um, I don't know I haven't tested in this kind of wind but check this out Turns out I didn't have to go all the way down the hill and then back up to go to the fortress. I could have just taken this little shortcut like I was there a little while ago. Could have just taken this little shortcut all the way up there to the fortress. Huh, well it comes for color burning. I'm heading down to the town and well I'm in the town but I'm heading down to the water where the restaurants are. Uh, I'm gonna, the, this path ends um, in another church, I want to take some pictures there and then I want to get something to eat uh, before I pass out in all these hills and no food. That's the church. I think it is a 13th century... Um, it's either a church or a monastery, I'm not entirely sure. But it is 13th century and it's not quite on the water, it's elevated on a cliff. But it's like just straight down, like there's nothing else down there. It is very pretty. It is very pretty. Hey, now I'm going right back where I started from. Back to the hostel. I think it is almost five right now. And I'm going to take a break before the evening stroll. It's nearly 7 p.m. and I don't know where I'm going tomorrow. My plan uh, was to go from here to Montenegro, but it turns out that I can't get to Montenegro from here directly until June. So my options are to either go back to Skopje and get a uh, bus from there, or, and, and you know, that would be three hours back and then like an overnight bus, or go on to Albania, to the capital, to Tirana, and then spend a day there and go from there to Montenegro. I think I can get to Montenegro from Tirana. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Um, I didn't plan on going to Albania. I'm not enthused about the idea of going to Tirana. It just doesn't appeal to me. But I'm also not crazy about having to backtrack and then take a long bus when I can break up the journey. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Never a dull moment. Just experienced two earthquakes. Uh, one was a 4.7 and the other one 4.8. At first we all thought it was a wind, but it must have been some kind of wind to make that kind of impact on the building. Uh, and then we looked it up thanks to Google. And yeah, two earthquakes. Apparently they're not that uncommon here. 